Hey, this is Michael with Digital T-Shirt Shop. I don't know how much of this I'm going to do right here, but um, I, uh, I drew this little picture. I've got uh, in my neighborhood, um, there are these great little kids. They're, I don't know, 11, 11 years old, I think most of them are. Um, they are also... Uh, kids in my church primary class primary if you don't know much about the mormon church is the organization that teaches the kids on sunday so i go and i prepare a lesson i go in and te teach these kids on sunday so it's actually the kids in my my primary class in addition to they're just my neighbors uh, but they love riding around these little scooters that they have and they call themselves the savage scooter crew and so i drew this little thing on here I was going to print them a t-shirt, um, but my drawing and my little notebook versus actually putting it on a t-shirt are two different things. So I got to actually draw this thing in the computer. So I pulled out my trusty illustrator and I could actually just outline the whole thing at once. And I actually did start trying to do that here, but I got thinking about it, thinking that um, it might actually be easier to go about this a little differently and do it a piece at a time. Um, part of what I'm part of what I'm wondering about is uh, the I, I like this idea of the bold line going around it. Um, <laughs> Excuse me. The problem is, is um, if you consider adding a stroke to that as opposed to um, as opposed to doing two separate lines, the two separate lines that would intersect differently and you'd have to ensure that you're, it would be a little bit harder to make sure that your uh, lines were equal. So if you see here, I've got a stroke on it. If I take the stroke off and I decide, okay, well, I'm going to draw this a second time. I mean, one way is to draw it a second time. Another way to do it is to maybe uh, duplicate it. So I take that layer and I duplicate it and then maybe resize it in. That would probably give me some of it, but it's going to skew it's the problem. I'm going to end up having to reshape it anyways by doing that. And I'm probably not going to get quite as equal a line out of it. So I'm wondering if it might just be better and maybe even just to draw it like this without a fill because it is all just kind of bold lines. Maybe I was to just go down, try to go down the center of it. And then I could, I mean, the lines don't need to all intersect because I can use a, a tool to outline the lines. What's more important is that I have lines that cover all of the art. Let's say I... And I guess a, a positive on this uh, is that I would end up with the same thickness of lines, 
going around everything. Now on these, I'm going to actually use the circle tool to create a circle. It's when I was talking to one of the boys, uh, dads the other, the other day, I was always talking about making these shirts for the kids. He's like, whatever you do, don't just give them that shirt. Make them do something for you, do some work for you. So I talked about actually making him come and uh, do some yard work for me. Um, actually, they showed up at my house the other day wanting to do yard work for me so that I would make the shirts faster for them. And I'm like, I have not even drawn the shirt yet. I mean, I've drawn it in a sketch pad, but it's not in any way, shape, or form able to be put in a computer and on a t-shirt yet. I've got to actually get this drawn in the computer first. Actually, I think this will end up working pretty well. It's kind of funny there, trying to give that the impression of raising their heel there. And I've got some, one thing I've got going on there isn't really working well with that. And obviously you can tell that I'm going to have to go in and do a little bit of touching up to make this work. Moving some lines around. I'd use my shortcuts. I wouldn't have to keep toggling over there quite so much. I'm not using any shortcuts. I'm using the mouse pad on my laptop to do this. Now let's see how that looks. I'm going to take that away. Okay, that's not too bad. I think that'll end up uh, looking pretty cool when it's done. I, I mean, I've got to fix this foot so it looks like it's actually bending, or I could still just have it flat on the scooter. Probably ought to do that instead. Probably want the same size wheels. So I want to use that wheel to
Got five wheels there. Another scooter cutting across here. And we ought to go like this. I'm gonna have to make sure that that even like that, we gotta make sure that spacing is equal there. Um, yeah, we needed one more circle up here. Right around the hand there. like yeah that looks pretty cool on their scooter I was never quite thrilled about this whole effect down here um, you know the idea I think was you know giving the scooter a sense of motion Funny, there's another little lit neighbor boy who's like, uh, uh, he's got to be like my son's age, maybe like eight. And he saw this because <laughs> they all showed up and knocking on my door one day. And I was like, yeah, yeah. And, he, and as soon as the other kids left, he turns to me and goes, can I have one too? Because, <laughs> of course, the bigger kids don't want the little kid in the, in the scooter club, you know. And... Uh, <laughs> Please, Brother Prittis, can I have one? <laughs> you know, because the other kids were, uh, you know, not going to let him be in the scooter club. <laughs> so uh, I may just have to surprise him with one as well. So I feel a little bad just giving it to the other kids. So I don't know. I'll play with this a little bit and see. But that's, I guess, the gist of of it and I'm basically just using a the stroke um, I was thinking about going and maybe and I can do it with a fill um, works out here all right here live paint bucket you know once I make these in, into closed paths, so as it is right now, the pants are like four different lines. And so, you know, it doesn't close the path. I'd have to do outlines of all these lines and then merge them together so that you had closed paths. Uh, and then I could go ahead and fill that. I can also run these into points once I outline these. Um, but I want to go tweak. I'm going to go back and tweak some of it to... <clears throat> Um, you know, make it look just a little bit better, proportionate, you know, fix the foot. I've got a couple funny angles, some weirdness on the shape of the hand there. Some of it looks fine, though, to me. The, like the scooter looks fine. I think the helmet and head look fine. That shoulder looks fine. This, this sticks out too much, which makes that shirt look uh, disproportionate or odd-shaped. Um, you know, but aside from that, I'm, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. I'm not sure I'm liking this still down here. Maybe I'm going to have to look at it with and without that. Um, but might end up being a cool, 
cool little shirt. And then I've got to add something that says Savage Scooter Crew. Savage. And see if I've got like a really cool font for that. Something that's legible, I guess, and cool. Like a hot tamale font. I don't even know if they make like a hot tamale font. Um, well, it's got to kind of match the drawing too. That'll be cool. Okay, what what goes better with it than some graffiti, right? <laughs> play with that a little bit to see how that'll work. Um, you know, maybe they need like something that they're jumping over here or something like that. Um, I don't know, maybe like a chicken. Maybe I need to draw like a little chicken there jumping over a little dog or a little ramp. Oh, maybe they're like coming up a half pipe here. Gotta obviously if it's a half pipe, you gotta have a, a rail on the top. So in that case we need to make that white in the middle. I don't know. I don't know that I'm loving that. There may be some perspective on it.
play with that. I don't know. Maybe that wouldn't be too bad. <clears throat> you know, if I actually drew it better. Savage Scooter Crew. That might make that fit just a little bit better. With the, that they're actually doing something. I could just put a rock on the ground. <laughs> they're jumping over a rock on the ground. I don't know. Who knows? Anyhow, that's what I drew. Uh, that is how I drew it. Savage Scooter Crew, the wildest kids in the neighborhood. Uh, Cedar Hills, Utah, obviously. And <laughs> this is a really wild stomping ground. So, anyhow, have a good day. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Digital T-Shirt Shop.